I'm a senior software engineer working on the B2B commerce on Lightning product here at Salesforce. I'm an engineer on QBranch. Uh, that's a team that provides strategy, expertise, tools, and inspiration to the sales account teams. Well, I'm a developer evangelist, and what we do is focus on our developers and really help educate and inspire them when it comes to building technical apps on the platform. We do that by providing lots of great content through the Salesforce developers website and our blog, through creating content for Trailhead Live, and really interacting with our developer communities around the world. Basically out of necessity. So in industries such as financial services and health life sciences, being able to structure and categorize files is critical to business process. So many customers that we've worked with, they were quite surprised that a solution like ours wasn't already native on the platform. I created Community Cookie Consent because we really needed a way to help our customers manage cookies when it comes to communities. Um, I felt that it was a gap that we had in the product and a way that I could use some of my skills to build a component that allowed users to capture that consent. Now what's great about the Salesforce Labs apps is that you can actually take that source code and really make the component what you need for your organization. I created Video Viewer component mostly for my own needs. As an engineer, Working here at Salesforce, I constantly come across a number of video files and I love the ability to play them directly inside of my own Salesforce org using this component. I realize that a lot of people have might have similar needs where they do not want to upload the videos on YouTube or on Vimeo due to privacy concerns. And this is why I decided to create the video component public and publish it on the app exchange. Um, I don't think I have a favorite badge per se, but what I, what I really like are uh, the modules that are aimed at um, prepping for some type of official certification. For me, I think it was like the admin beginner, the admin intermediate. Um, the other trails that I think are, are uh, that I really like are the ones that help you kind of dive right into a new product. So I remember when Einstein chatbots were, when, first went GA, um, there was a great tra trail that, that helped you build your first chatbot. Uh, it kind of demystified the technology uh, that you would think, you know, was going to be real, really complex or a lot more complex than what it ultimately was. Uh, but I guess that's the whole magic of Salesforce. There's so many good ones. Um, they're all great, but I would have to say the Salesforce release modules that come out every time there's a Salesforce release um, they're probably the most useful. So three times a year, um, check them out because they're full of Salesforce goodness. My favorite project was to build a cat rescue app uh, that can recognize cat breed. Um, I really love doing that project on Trailhead. So what's my favorite badge, super badge or module on Trailhead? Well, I've been really enjoying the Lightning Web Components Specialist Super Badge. I've not yet finished it, so I need to get back onto Trailhead to really get that badge rolling. What is one tip or best practice you want to share with your admin trailblazers? Rather than building a solution from scratch, I think it is best to first look around for existing solutions on App Exchange. This is because most of the time a well-tested solution might already exist and you might not even need to, to build or ask someone to build a solution because you can use the, easily use the, the solution that already exists. So one tip or best practice that I could share with our admin trailblazers, uh, well, when it comes to Salesforce Labs, always make sure you're following along with the documentation. Um, some of the apps are really simple and then some of them can be really complex. 
Um, and so really follow along with that and don't be afraid to get anyone else in your organization involved with the setup of some of the apps. That the Salesforce ecosystem is huge. Uh, so chances are if you've come across an issue or a problem you and you look hard enough, more than likely someone else will have hit the same issue and have found a workaround or maybe even a solution. The key is you just need to be persistent, keep looking and keep asking. I'm sure you're aware of some of the, the solutions that I'm cooking up right now. Um, one of them is around uh, extending digital engagement and chatbots uh, potentially to some type of return to work slash contact tracing scenario. Um, but again, it follows kind of the same mantra of what I've been doing with all of my solutions, right? Taking kind of various Salesforce products and creating this mashup of them together uh, for an overarching solution uh, that can solve a, a use case in a new way. We work with a lot of deals where a lot of similar requirements comes up. So we have a short list of some potential, um, but to find out, you'll have to stay tuned.